Hi everyone, I'm here today joined by the legend Sir Jeff Hurst. Jeff, Hello. it's been a privilege to okay. see you again. Nice to see you again. Yeah, I hope about, you a, year ago, was it? Yeah, about a year right. ago. Yeah. Nice to catch up again. Um, last time uh, we touched on boots mainly, you know, I collect the boots. Um, last time you was a plain black boot man, a bit like the... Uh, the, the ones I play. They were the ones you yes. um, We weren't too... Very uh, similar. Very yeah, similar, very yeah. similar. This classic boot is fun, isn't it? You're still, you're not changing your mind, not back on the pink ones or anything like that. I've, I actually laugh when I see all the players yeah, and they're playing it. and the pinks and the greens. It's crazy. I find yeah. a lot of the stuff in the past to yeah. do with the game very amusing. And that's, yeah. what, that's one of the most amusing things. Yeah, it was all very simple back in uh, back in your day, wasn't it? It's was still simple, that. just a different colour. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I it's, don't know whether they're any more uh, effective in terms of how you play because it's a no, green or a they made a of, uh, completely Well, they've not yeah. made a leather really nowadays, although they're flying and they're, stuff. Yeah. But, they're, they're classic. But I they think if I play them. today, I still want to play in those. You stick with them. I'll stick with them, yeah. And yeah, that's World Cups, Copas. No question. Timeless. Not because of tradition. Yeah. I still think I could just do as well in those as I could with these lovely. Yeah, it's, at the end of the day, it's I wouldn't want people laughing person. at me playing today. Eight yeah. years of age in pink well, boots. Well, if you fall over in pink or green boots, it's it's a bit funnier for the fans. Isn't it's it? embarrassing. Uh, yeah, really. it is. Yeah, if you if you score a wonder goal in them, then obviously it works well. But um, yeah, so well, um, I was going to talk about the footballs this time, Jeff. Uh, this is a more retro, old sort of ball. Yes. Um, Tell me, was you before the the um, string tires, whatever it is, was, uh, laces? Laces, just about the time I, I joined West Ham, I would yeah. say, I'd put it down. It's difficult to know exactly within the actual month or a year, mm. but I would put it down to about the time I joined West Ham uh, in 57, probably, they, they were just started to go. Right. I don't think I saw... So in your childhood, it was in the my lace childhood, balls? Absolutely. I spent hours as a kid yeah. like, trying to lace the football up, not knowing how to do it. Hours yeah, and hours. I could imagine. But about the time when John was down, 57, they'd probably just about gone then. I so headroom one of these when they're wet, when you're a kid... Yes, I mean the old joke about players. Yeah. When when a winger crossed the ball, said, "Please cross the ball, make sure the laces are on the other yeah, side." Yeah, exactly. that was the old uh, stand-up joke. And we was mentioning earlier about Nobby Styles and they're trying to get head in, certainly limited more in the modern game. Uh, in training. I think it's the practice. To me, I think it's the practice is the bigger issue where you can practice for half an hour, an hour. Yeah. Getting the ball in our gym at West Ham, we're hanging from the ceilings. You can spend half hour, forty five minutes heading. I remember Chad um, Waleef had the uh, string string balls, balls. just yeah. the same. So I think that's that's not that's not great. No, if you look at some some like a lot of the games I played in, I probably would only headed the ball about uh, three or four times. Yeah, yeah, uh, per, per game is per game. It's so I think it's right. a heading that they've got to try and curtail quite dramatically. Yeah, um, and you don't need you can practice the thing about heading and scoring goals. The head. It's not the heading of the ball, it's the crossing, the quality of the crossing, yeah. like Martin Peters in, in the in the quarter five against Argentina. It's an absolute yeah. inch perfect quality. West Ham thing West, West, there, West Ham thing, yeah. yes. Colts, Honed yeah. at Shovel Heath. Yeah. So that that's it. And you can practice that all day long with that heading. And heading can only take needs to take a small part of that yeah. part of the exercise. And that was a superb header against the Argies. I thought it was pretty, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that's it what it pretty good. good. Well, you put it in that corner and you meant you know, it's glancing. What are yeah. you? It's glancing the balls across the keepers, isn't it? Wrong foots them. Yeah, it exactly. comes from one side and you cross it, knocking it. Yeah, it's almost like a deflection off of. It's a deflection. The defender. It's, 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 sometimes when you hit the ball directly at. Yeah, but they there and they get it out. But That's it. Glancing it across does wrong foot them. It does indeed. So yeah, so so they they sort of fade. Is, is that supposed to be a pink? Uh, an orange ball, or is that the, well, is that the dark orange of today's yeah, colour? Dark, yeah, it's a very dark. And we just signed some downstairs, didn't we? Which were really, yes. more more the sixties style. Yes, they um, I don't know why they would make them in this colour on a dirty, muddy pitch. Really, yeah. back in the day, that's true. Yeah. It's, Plus, if I think, look at the signatures on the on the dark brown ball. You see, Trevor yeah. there. Probably not quite as attractive. No. in terms of the, the colour. Yeah, this might that. have been. Yeah, that's right. Well, well, not that I'm a signed ball. Lovely expert, looking ball, um, like for people's collections, because we do like the vintage sort of stuff. Yes. Uh, they go well, do they? they yeah. um, football shirts always sell better than football, but it's nice to have the um, you know the choices for different yes. people. And yes. Uh, you want to have everything, like we've signed a lot of different stuff today, i.e. 
It's a beauty. Oh, I don't think you said yourself you've never signed one of these. No, I don't think so. Uh, we've not really seen one, have you? So no, I've seen one as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Not this big. Not, no, no. <laughs> so me and my dad have took about thirty-five years to get this finished. So oh, me. Um, he'd be very pleased that you've come along and given it terrific. To okay. Terrific. Yeah. Nineties. The balls were stitched. Um, nice balls, to be fair, my I wasn't they? Um, yeah, that's a very attractive ball. Yeah, uh, I, I like that. Uh, this that was style. an Very England good. international nineties ball and charity shields and FA cups. Yeah, so that's probably my most favourite ball. That's why yeah, I, put I it like that one as well. I like not just the look of it, but I think it'd be nice to play with. Yeah, yeah. Even like now, you're going back. You know, this would be Beckham era, Henri, yeah. and all, all that yeah. sort of stuff. And uh, we're saying that Henri was a bit more the Nike. Geo Merlin ball, but that, that's a fantastic ball, that is. Love that. Uh, at the same time was uh, when the Premier League started, they went with the Ultimax. And this 90, is 91, 92, yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. So um, a good looking ball, iconic. That's an original, that is, Jeff. Oh, is it? So yeah. uh, nowadays, to find one in that condition, £1,000 probably. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Back in the day, yeah, you can fit it in there, you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, Probably fifty pounds to buy or whatever. So um, yeah, so they got some value attached. It's to them, got some yeah. value attached to them. A lot of people don't like them signed because you're either collecting a vintage nineties ball or you're collecting signatures. You don't really cross okay. cross path, but okay, still nice. And then today's balls are completely uh, different. They're right. I don't like at all. You don't like them? That goes on like my boots. Balls. Uh, yeah, absolutely not. No, it looks to me it looks like a beach ball. It's as uh, modern as anything. It's it, modern. It may be modern, but I don't like it. No, and, no. Um, they I just can, do not like it. They go in the air. They can go anywhere. These sort of yeah. balls. They've got. Um, it's nice and bright. You can see a damn thing. But yeah. To be honest with you, I just don't like that. No, um, that's right. But it's. I think just 2014 showing. World Cup or, or something was when they stuck went from the stitched leather ball to these. Again, I'm not even sure if they're leather now. They're more like a uh, um, multi plastic, 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 plastic. Sort of, Stuff where yeah, they can't no, pick up. I don't like it. I don't yeah. like holding it. And uh, it's a beach ball. Really. It is. They can't pick up any water. So the the weight's always the same. Yeah. Whereas them, they, they which a lot of people said, because in our time, when the ball in our time played and got wet, it got very heavy. Of course. And a lot yeah. of people put that down to um, heading balls. Of yeah. It was a, a problem. That's it. Because it got. I think Alan Shearer did a piece on that uh, two or three years ago. That's right. Compared yeah. the two, the current ball and the, and the ball in our time, when they both got wet. Our older ball got much, much heavier. Yeah. Well, that, of course, will not. No, that's it. They hold no. Do not like it whatsoever. Zip Imagine any. Ball. I could score twice as many goals that ball. It seems much lighter. It does seem light. Like, yeah, it does. So, and for me, memorabilia industry, horrible to sign. Oh, of course, yes, yes, so, all, yes, yes. Not for me at all. Absolutely. That would be a nightmare signing 50 of those. I will apologise about the chairs we're sitting on, Jeff, but they're not any old chairs, are they? As we both know, these chairs are um, from Wembley Stadium, 1966. Yeah. So someone would have sat on this chair and watched you score a hat-trick, and I reckon they probably would have paid quite a lot of money to watch you do that on that special day, didn't they? Probably did. Um, so they're pretty... Well, the tickets were a fortune. Were they not? No. I can't understand that. Or except anybody would spend two hours on that chair. I know. It's, it's, I'm struggling now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. You're yeah, yeah. It's I'm very, very, around. very uncomfortable. As we're only doing this for about ten minutes, I'm yeah. just about we'll hang just in about make it. Yeah. Wembley Stadium, Jeff. Um, very iconic. Place. Yeah, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. You um, Wembley '64, '65, '66. Yeah. And here come the three World Cup players coming out on the road. Bobby Moore, five. Number 10, Jeff Hurst, the man who got the hat-trick. Number four, Martin Peters. Yeah, he was amazing days for the Hammers. And yeah. Amazing days. It's Win, a, you know, the FA Cup and then the Cup wins. I mean, the second time a club won a European competition. Right. And then having three players from one club. Was that 1860 Munich? 1860 Munich, yeah. yeah. The other Munich side. Yeah. They were, then were a big side. I mean, mm -hmm. they were up the top in the Bundesliga then. Yeah, but I think that uh, having three players as we did from our academy, Moro, Martin, and myself. Yeah, not the captain and two goal scorers. I don't think that did any... all three of you win the three cups. Uh, no, no, Martin didn't. Martin didn't. Martin, right. Martin was left out just before he had the cup run in '64. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to hear that story? Yeah. Go on. Okay, got time. Of course, okay. Time. So we played Black, Blackburn Rovers in yeah. 1963 yeah. in the league game. In the days over Christmas when you played the same team home and away. Oh, we right, played yeah. at home at, at, at Upton Park. West Ham 2, Blackburn 8. 
Really? So two year, two days later, we yeah. now travel to Blackburn. Right. And Ron Green had only made one change. Expecting an easy game. With well, With, yeah. The, Expecting what, a close game. But, yeah. but what happened was he only made one change. Right. He left Martin Peters out and he brought Eddie Bovington in. Okay. To play as a more defensive role than Martin. Yeah. Following Saturday, we, we beat Charlie in the FA Cup the first round, and yeah. that team won the Cup. So Martin Peters did not, uh, oh, so the, which I think he was again. very disappointing again in the league, and yeah. in, in the Cup. And I think that sort of helped move his thinking about moving from the club and yeah. to go to the top of years later. So that was the, the Cup story. Yeah, all right. But great times for the Hammers. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, my dad, obviously, I'm West Ham family. Uh, still not seen as pick up a trophy properly, unfortunately, a few playoff finals, back to the Prem, but nothing. But for us at that time, yeah. and we hadn't, West Ham hadn't been at Wembley since they built it in 1923. Right, yeah. When you go and win it. And so we was the first club there in 23, which yeah, was yeah. the White Horse final. Um, against Bolton, we got beat 2 nothing. Yeah. So amazing, yeah. we get there in 64, yeah. win it, and then 65, and six, of course, Very 66. So unbelievable time for the Special hand. place. What end was your first goal, Jeff? Uh, it would have been this end, I think. This I'm end. Just trying to think which. which, which. Yeah, you go from the Twin Towers, you know, don't we? Yeah. yeah, I don't really look at the Twin Towers when I'm down there. No, it's been which bloody end it is. I've no, yeah. like I say, I've got no idea at all. It's crazy. Um, See, this is the tunnel because obviously the tunnel's here now, isn't it? They come out yes. the centre. Your tunnel was there. You come out. As a, it was great watching your. Where's the so the Royal Box will be here? That's, that's the, Royal Box. Oh, the Royal Twin oh, Towers. Yes, yeah, so I know. I'm now. I'm You're there. With it. So that's the first goal's there. Right. Uh, the Second goal was, of course, then the third goal was that end. Right. That's the one when you was just going to blast it out of the stadium. Correct. And Correct. Whack it as hard as I could. And we're sitting here now writing Hattrick Hero and so, so many other things. Yeah, fantastic. So, uh, yeah, put that up there. Um, do you think that they should have tried to keep the Twin Towers when they demolished it in 03? I think there was some talk about keeping it because they're iconic. And yeah. Apparently, the, I was told that the architect said that the, the Twin Towers themselves were very weak and and easily would thought you couldn't re uh, uh, recoup and resurrect them again. No, right. And they said it was, it was it architecturally, they yeah. said it was out of the question to try and keep them. Yeah. But um, some of it was great, but the new Wembley is fantastic. Only there was criticism about playing, moving a, moving to a, a, a building a new stadium. But It's a modern stadium. It's a modern stadium. It's fantastic. The there was a lot of criticism at the time. It's a fantastic stadium. One of the best in the world. They all need to be the same, really, don't they? Yeah. Now, you know, they're all underground parking. They're all high tech. The facilities are, are a million times better yeah. in a new stadium than the yeah. other one. It's just a shame that all right, <laughs> when they tore down West Ham and White Hart Lane, all these four stand places, they're, they're all clones of the, the same, which I don't like. But yeah. we're in a, a, new stadium, a new stadium generally, although in, in, the, in Gatta, the yeah. stadiums they built there are all yeah. totally oh, different yeah. in, in terms of shape. But what over here, they're all going to be very, very similar. That's you know, it. 50, 60, 70,000. Let's, let's be fair, there's only one sort of reasonable shape you can make a, state, a football stadium. That's right. Surrounding a football pitch. Yeah. So you're not going to go too far no, uh, that's away right. from the uh, centre or design. Yeah, exactly. Um, in my humble opinion, as a non architect. I f yeah, exactly. I feel like I should know this, but why did we wear red in 66 and not white? The. The reason we wore red because the Germans and us are the same colours, right? And we we uh, tossed up, toss. apparently, tossed up, and they won the toss. Oh, during the week, during the week they tossed, tossed up. up. Oh, uh, they won, they won the toss. Yeah. So they laid in their their whites. And we now yeah, that was that. Where the now very 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 famous red shirts. Yes, we know. We've just been with a whole heap of them. In, in a sense, it was fantastic, really. When you think, yeah, we're we're white, but at the time, we, only time we won the World Cup, we wear our, our we're, famous red shirts. Yeah, it's a bit like West Ham, nineteen eighty. We was. In the white, wasn't we? Yes, yeah, so, nice not the classic nice blue. Oh, hello, Mike. Um, so obviously, you got I think a thousand pound each for winning the World Cup. Not huge amounts, Correct. but after that, you're probably getting a lot of sort of freebies thrown at you and endorsements and that because you you are. This is one um, Ford's cars. Did you all get one each or something? Yeah, this was in 1970. We were all. Uh, it's a great photo. Yes, I love that. I've got that photo. Oh, it's brilliant. Isn't it? yeah. We were all. This is 1970. We were all given a loaned, not given, a Ford Cortina 1600 e Old oh, loaned. Okay. Loaned. Yeah. And, uh, some people kept them. Mine went back. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure there's any around now. Yeah. Uh, but that was. Yeah. I haven't seen that picture. It's a great picture. This I think picture is that outside like Wembley. Um, Looks like the that bit there. Probably, it? almost certainly. Yes. Yeah. Almost certainly. Yeah. And that's the that's that's great not, picture with more on myself. Super Moro with his, his business, um, he, he, in business, uh, 
Makanese yeah. suede jackets. Oh right, that's um, what he's, you're doing a bit of business. Yeah. Well, he's, business. He's, um, he's promoting his coats. So that's a great picture, that. Right? Yeah, uh, one, of my, one of my favourite pictures. So that's up at your house, that is. Yeah. Uh, no, that I think that was in the ground. At oh, the West Ham ground. No, I'm saying you've got this at home. Oh, got that at home. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. fantastic photo. That one is. of my faves. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Right. Um, so you're back in Essex today, Jeff. Um, yes, back at the church. Your old stomping ground for many years. Yeah. Uh, nice to be back. Yeah, it is. It's great. Do you miss I mean, Essex or? Not really. No, no. we moved on a few times, so not really. Yeah. Uh, some great time. Was, my life started off, second phase of my life started off there with they getting married in 64, moving to Hornchurch. Yeah. In our first house with my wife. And of course, during that period, in, in our uh, county park estate where I lived, yeah. Martin backed onto my garden. Yeah. Down the street was John Sissons who scored the first goal in the 64 final. Yeah. Two streets up was Ronnie Boyce yeah. who scored the winner in the final. Yeah. And we all lived on the County Park Estate. So did one of you drive each that way to Chabalee? No, we had our own car. Oh, I think we all right. had a car then. Um, yeah. We, I think we just got out of our bikes by that stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's mad. So yeah. it's a fantastic time. Yeah. It is fantastic. Um, Mbappe, great, great player. Yeah, fantastic Got the player. hat trick. But he didn't yes. win, did he? So no, I'm, I'm sort of sneaked ahead of Bridge. Yeah, I, I think was on we, the winning side. We, we, exactly. Yeah, the same. But he's a fantastic. His first goal. I mean, they say two penalties, but his first yeah. goal. I talk about technically that was brilliant. Yeah. That way it comes looping over to get the correct timing on it. And yeah. uh, sometimes people miss the ball completely. Sometimes he just goes back up in the air. Yeah. But he was. If you look at him in the slow motion, he's almost horizontal. That's it. The correct contact. As we said, he could have took a touch. Some players yeah, no, or some fantastic. players would have. So scored. he was a brilliant player. When well, you could say that I haven't played for England at his age, and he's yeah. he's already got to, to one and World Cup. He could have almost had two World Cups yeah. at twenty three. I, I haven't played for England since I was twenty four. So there you go. Yeah, it is good. Um, that's good. Um, Jeff, I will uh, just have a look at that. I haven't tracked one of them down yet. Oh, the unique. Good yeah. Say. That's it. <laughs> Going to get you to sign that. these if you don't That was mind. green. You can't see the colour, but that was green. Oh, they green boots, were they? Yeah? Green, yes. Oh, green. right. Okay. So I was, uh, I was part of the early early coloured boot brigade person. Oh, you was. You're the one that started. Right, we'll do these and then... Uh, yeah, we'll call it a day. We'll, we'll, uh, we're about Two to stand it. seats for England was the first prize. Here, yeah? Uh, yes, please, Jeff. That'd be nice. And two in them there. And uh, there we go. Really appreciate this today, Jeff, as ever. It's You're welcome. lovely to talk to you. You're welcome. Thank you for signing my boots. Okay. And, um, Those are great boots, then. I'm going to nick someone's phrase here. You might tell me off, but they think it's all over. I'm not yet. I'm still here. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is now. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you for coming over. You're welcome. Great. Cheers. Good Thank day. You. Good day today. Jeff first, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.